two wasn't enough, so I had a few parts left over and decided to build another one. The guns are built out of aluminum, whether it's uh, starting with the barrels and the reservoirs with pipe, adding plate to the ends of them, um, or billets being turned on a lathe to be machined down into a conical shape. The jeweling is done by a hand sanding device, just repeated patterns and turns out pretty cool. Polishing the reservoirs and other pieces with jewelry making equipment. The manifold has got the pressure relief valve in it, a pressure gauge, a Schrader valve so that we can fill it up with air for testing for leaks, and then we've got the primary feed hose coming from the remotely mounted tank. This little launcher is about five pounds. Uh, I do have a strap on it just to make it ease of carrying, and the trigger button is on the side of the valve. This valve is your Home Depot uh, or available anywhere from Rainbird. Um, it's about 20 bucks. It is slightly modified and works very well. It's a mechanical advantage valve. This little launcher will shoot either T-shirts or balls. In this case, I've got a ball here. Remote hose with CO2. We've got 125 PSI regulator on it. And it will recharge itself about every half a second. So I've got a half a second between shots. That was one. I hope you enjoyed this little instructional video and found these devices interesting. Thank you for your time.